in the U.S., Las Vegas is one of the biggest tourist destinations in the world and also one of the city's hardest hit by the U.S. recession. At the height of the crisis, unemployment hovered around 12 percent, with foreclosure rates among the highest hit in the country. But as Yekenda McGahey reports, the city may be staging a comeback. Las Vegas, casino country, the land of big bets and secret sin. It's with its harem of hotels and hordes of visitors lining the Vegas Strip. But if you peek behind the bright lights and big billboards, you'll find a city and state just emerging from a dark and devastating period. Early last decade, the city experienced unprecedented growth. Hotel resorts developed at a frantic pace. Casino revenue growth was unimaginable. 8%, 10%, 12% growth year over year. Real estate in every facet blew up here. Uh, from investors from all over the country buying here, it almost became like Vegas' own commodity market, where you could go get an assumable contract, sit on it for three months before the home was built, flip it for ten, fifteen, twenty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, and then go on to the next place. But as fast as it rose is just how fast it fell. Hotel room occupancy dipped 70%. Housing prices plummeted 60%, and developments like this $350 million project halted, as did two major resort hotels, which now sit vacant. You saw property values drop anywhere from 15 to 20% over the period of about eight months, and honestly, everybody just froze. So it's like things came to a standstill here. They came to an absolute screeching halt. It was a city hit harder than any other city in the country, say experts, perhaps because the Vegas economy is so closely tied to the U.S. economy. You see, what happens with the nation's economy happens in Vegas. You know, what happens is Las Vegas is basically a disposable income area. You know, people come here for a getaway. It's an adult vacation. They can't afford to do that when they're worried if they're going to have a job next month. But now that things are improving in the U.S. economy, things are improving in Vegas, judging by the leading economic indicator, casinos. For resorts like the MGM Grand, capital expenditures are down, room occupancy is up, and expansion is underway. It's been a, a very big, uh, a really a paradigm shift in that, uh, in that, and I think that's certainly indicative of, of the economy healing. Fortunately for them, they've been down so long, the only direction Vegas can go is up. Yakenda McGee, CCTV, Las Vegas.